I'm Sunita from Xilinx. I uh, work on the platform applications team. Uh, we develop reference designs for customers. And uh, today we are uh, demonstrating um, Cache Code and Interconnect for accelerators, uh, C6 working on a prototype platform. So here is how the uh, demo goes. So C6 is basically an emerging interconnect standard. Uh, Xilinx is driving the consortium and here are all the members who are part of it. And what C6 enables is um, it enables uh, movement of currency packets over PCI Express layer. PCI Express is used as a transport medium in this particular case. And we are making FPGAs the first class citizen along with the processor core by extending caching and currency to them. So in this particular demo, what we are demonstrating is um, packet forwarding, basically L2 switching application acceleration using C6. So if you see the diagram here, we basically have our forwarding rules for L2 switching which are residing with the host and we have the hardware managed cache on the FPGA using the C6. So what happens is when the first Ethernet frame gets into the FPGA, the pack, the, we go all the way into the host to look up the rules and find a match and then edit the packet and send it out on the respective port. With C6, once the rules get cached, we don't always go into the host memory to fetch the rules because we have a local cache here and that gives us the latency benefit. The other bigger benefit with C6 is if the rules change dynamically at the host side because of the SDN controller, then the cached copies which are there on the FPGA side, they get invalidated automatically. There is no overhead in terms of software going and invalidating those entries. So that's the benefit. So in this particular demo, what we are showing is uh, running a bunch of Ethernet frames for the same amount of time. When we use PCI Express as a, trans as a link to get the rules compared to what happens when we use C6 to get the rules. And what we see in the demo is when we run the traffic for the same amount of time, the number of packets which we can service using the PCI Express link is far lesser than the one we can service using the CCIX. So with CCIX, we do see in addition to latency benefit, that gives us the throughput benefits. And then there is an automatic invalidation when the rules change. And that's what this demo shows. Okay, it looks like there's about a 4x improvement or more. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.